Praise the Lord, everybody. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to share a, a word of the Lord with you today. Thank you, Jesus. That <clears throat> has stirred my soul. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Remember, the meetings is coming up uh, in Atoka, Tennessee. Uh, make plans to be, be with us if you're in the area or you, you need a healing. Come, come see us. Come see us. The Lord has something for you. Thank you, Jesus. And come stand with us. Stand with prayer. Stand with together in unity we're going to win we're going to win with the Lord on our side we cannot lose thank you Jesus <clears throat> hallelujah hallelujah I've been up here in these mountains in the cabin and I've been praying seeking the Lord for the uh, the upcoming meeting in Atoka. And not just that, but I've been seeking the Lord for the youth, the young people, seeking God for our country. And this is the word of the Lord that came to me. I've had some dreams to pass month that I also want to share uh, even though they're a few days old I believe they're still on time thank you Jesus but this word of the Lord hit me real early this morning and I want to I want to read this to you <clears throat> God said that I am going to stop their flow of prosperity. Take heed that no man deceives you. For many shall come in my name and carry a many of people away in the days that is to come. Pray that your eyes may be opened and you will see through the eyes of my spirit because you that knows me are the children of the light and I shall know I shall show you things that is to come that you will not be blind to the troubles that shall soon fall on the wicked and the rebellious and I, the Lord, will speak to the wicked leaders, to you leaders, evil leaders, that your ways of the heart is so dark, you will refuse to hear me reckon with you. But soon the rocks shall fall upon Your wealth and all that you trust in will fall. And then who or what will you trust in then? I see the balance that has been tilted. And where there is no levy for the notes of the Federal Reserve Bank, I see. And how you have joined together in unity to take down America, take down the Christianity by destroying freedom in the United States that was founded upon me and my statues, says the Lord. 
My eyes is upon the beast of Europe. I will send forth the sword upon you and all shall crumble and will not be able to stand. And as you look and wonder at amazement, how has this happened? I will loose the evil upon your own heads of what you have schemingly planned to do. My eyes are upon the evil of the plans to genocide America in the hopes of taking the land. My angels shall go forth now to vindicate mine anointed for the harvest shall not waste, but I will gather it into my house. But I will first gather the tares and bind them, that my angels will go forth and gather from all corners of the earth the harvest of the last lost and broken people for the time is upon all that will call upon my name shall see great deliverance as my hand stretches over the world to heal and to save and to deliver. I will bring my people out upon a mountain that they may serve me, saith the Lord God. Yet woe unto them that has refused and rebelled against me, saith the Lord. Your days will come first. The righteous shall see the wicked and evil and the false prophets fall in one day for look out unto the east as the earth cracks and unfolds creatures from the depths of the bottoms of the earth that has never been seen before the like my eyes are open to the cry of my people and I am come down to deliver you out of the hands of the enemy that you may see and serve me and go. Go and serve me. I will rebuke the devourer that has come out to stop the last call, the last outpouring for that, say, for that Satan knows he has a short time. Many are the powers of darkness that has come out to destroy the chosen generation. For there is an evil priesthood that stands to destroy Washington, D.C. and the laws of the land. For the righteousness of this bodies of people has stood in the way for many of years. And now Satan has sent out a flood to try and destroy this last outpouring. Watch as I lift my hands and break the bonds of Lucifer. Can you hear the storms coming, the whirlwinds and the great winds, wind storms? Watch and pray, my people, for the evil beast of D.C. desires another great attack on the people of America. To wipe out the holiness 
of God from off the planet. The ancient gods has been called back by the evil of the outspoken worship of evil has opened the door to demons. Demons of old that the prophets once and defeated, fought and defeated, and once again, even as the people of old called for the prophets, they will call again to distinguish the hell that has risen in the sanctuaries of the courts of the houses of worship. But my word shall prevail and come forth and many will become to know me in the day, says the Lord. There shall come forth an outburst of news that shall reveal the most evil as many are betrayed in the days that is to come. Watch as the trades of America takes a plunge into a record low that all the wealthy may know I am the Lord God. I will awaken the spirit of old prophets. The spirit of old prophets shall be seen rising out of the ground as I turn this country around. And once again, I will spare the president, Donald Trump, from a tragic end as I hold back the arches of death from his house. I will bring forth a great nation once again, saith the Lord. And once again, this country will be blessed by my hands as the blood of the innocents no longer bleeds at the courts. The great exodus is here. The great deliverance is here for my people. Africa, great revival is coming to you. Scotland, great revival is coming to you. Germany, China, England, Taiwan, Japan, and many of countries shall be shaken by my hands. Hear the word of the Lord. Famine will hit the marketplaces, but my people shall have a plenty. A great sickness, a virus is being planned now. Be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Assemble yourselves together and pray that I will all, that I will open the windows of heaven upon you and pour you out a blessing that you cannot contain or have room enough to carry. Victory is at the door. Rise up, my people, and call upon the name of the Lord. And watch as your enemies fall. I will do wonders in the coming chosen. I will do wonders. I will do wonders in the coming choosing of the leaders. Of America. The year of trouble and the years of great revival is coming up upon the world. Go ye therefore in all the earth and spread this gospel to all the nations, says the Lord God Almighty. Open up your hearts and open up your ears that you may hear. And that you may attend unto the 
the voice that is speaking to you in your hearts and your ears. Let not Satan cause you to doubt me, says the Lord, but believe upon all of this great move of my spirit as I reach my hands out across this nation and the evil shall begin to crumble. But the power of my word shall rise above it all and shall take my people to a level that they've never been, says the Lord of hosts. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your word, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Write to us at post office, Box 417, Midland City, Alabama, 36350. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We love you and we appreciate you. God bless you as our prayers. Bye-bye.